downtown Marshall, North Carolina was swallowed by catastrophic flooding. Now what remains is covered in a thick coat of mud and debris that's considered hazardous. Ben Phillips is shoveling it out of his home. What's it like to see all your things out here like this? <laughs> it's, it's heartbreaking to uh, everything we had in that house. This area is not known for flooding. The North Carolina flood map shows Marshall with only a 1% chance. Out of more than 8,000 properties in the county, only 98 had flood insurance. You have flood insurance. Yeah. But I think you're probably in the minority. A lot oh, of yeah. people did not. They were saying that the businesses downtown, only about two of them had flood insurance and that almost nobody else did. Just decimated this whole area. 55 miles east in Old Fort, this satellite image shows the water's disastrous path. We got a closer look on the ground. These manufactured homes were not originally here. They were pushed by the sheer force of the water. And it's not just people's homes. You can see this shed, even vehicles. And based on the water line there, the water would have reached up to my head. Down the street, Pastor Kimberly Baker and volunteers are cleaning up mud by the barrel full at the United Methodist Church. And you can see how deep it is to the altar. For 24 hours, four to five feet of water flowed through the church before receding. We didn't have flood insurance because we never, never flooded. flooded, never needed it. Now there is nothing to do but clean up and count their blessings. We're still here. You're still here. And we're going to be here. And we're going to come back. Not, not just the church, but the people. Yeah. Uh, we're going to build this little town back. This year, out of the 4.3 million properties across the state of North Carolina, only about 115,000 have a flood insurance policy. The reason people here in Marshall are being asked to wear masks and hazmat suits is that there is a sewage treatment facility and a PVC plant upstream, so the mud and dust could be toxic. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Marshall, North Carolina.